Hi, welcome to STEAM Kids Virtual Classroom here at the Colorado Model Railroad Museum. I'm Michelle. And I'm Misty. <laughs> We're with you again today. Yes. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Union Pacific Foundation and Greeley Station for making this possible. Absolutely. We are yeah. so excited. So this is our final lesson in art this month, right? Right. And we've saved the hardest for last. Right. But this one is a lesson in depth and by doing a vanishing point. So let me explain that again. So we've done depth by shading. Right. right. First, we learned about our colors. Mm -hmm. Then we shaded our colors. Then we did the depth of the mountains by shading. But now we're going to do depth by shading and something called disappearing point or vanishing point. Mm -hmm. I've heard both terms, so I'm going to say both of them disappearing and vanishing. What does that mean? Goes away, right? Right. Right. So this is going to be uh, something that a lot of artists use and our painting again is going to teach us. We're going to learn from this. So this is our wonderful Union Pacific um, kind of a heritage fleet painting here. And if you notice, do you see how the rail starts out wide and it goes to a point? Where's the vanishing point? Where does everything disappear in this painting? Right here, right there. So the vanishing point in this painting to give it depth is over here. Yep, so everything has a line that angles towards that. Do you see this line right here on the rail? And then this line. And even here where the landscaping is vanishes to that vanishing right. point. Right, so you, even the distance between this color and this color gets smaller. And our mountains start diminishing as they go that way too, right? right? And what about the train itself? It does as it's well. It's this tall here and that tall down there. All right. So it's also vanishing. And if, if you look at the red line on the train, it goes in a straight line that way and the roof. They're all going to that one point. So today we're gonna to do an exercise in this on a piece of paper that's in your download. And so you'll have to print it out, but you could do it on any paper by drawing any shape. So we have this one printed for you. And you'll notice there's a dot in the center. Our disappearing point or vanishing points right. in the center of our paper today. There's lots of shapes I noticed too. Yeah, now wow. if you're doing this on a plain piece of paper, just draw some shapes around the edge. Whatever shapes you want. You could do a heart, a star, a random shape. Whatever you want it to be. I like this lightning bolt. <laughs> I'm thinking Harry Potter when I see that. I know. That. <laughs> and the moon in the square, and that's probably a rainbow. Uh, so we had an intern help us with this one also. Her name is Leah. And uh, we had Danny do the last one, and Leah helped us with this one. So we're going to take this, and you're going to need a pencil today and a ruler. And then our, obviously our watercolor paints if we want to use them. So just like everything goes to that vanishing point on the big picture, all the lines go to the one point. All of our lines, every major detail, we're going to connect to the vanishing point. So basically, if there's a point, lines that come together in your shape where there would be an edge, like here, this would, don't you think there'd be an edge on the triangle here? And here, and here, and the star's gonna have edges here, two edges here, wherever there's a point. So here's a point and a point, Look at all the points on the arrow. So what we're gonna do is anywhere there's a point where two lines come together and they're not a curve like that, they come together at a point, we're going to draw a pencil line directly to the dot in the center. So I'm gonna line up this piece and draw it there. And then that point on that guy, he's only got the two, put it there. See how we've done that? Okay, now I'm gonna do the star because the star has an interesting thing happening. So we're gonna do that point and this point, the two bottom points, because they're very obvious, right? Now, this one right here is definitely, you're going to be able to connect this point. This point back here is pretty much gonna be along, right along that same line as the other one. Did you see that? Look how close those are. This point back here is gonna be directly through the star and we're not gonna see it if we draw the line. So we're not actually gonna draw this line because he is dimensionally not connected here. Now, I hope I'm explaining that okay that you understand, but if it went through the object, you don't wanna draw it because we don't need the line going through the star. We just want the lines from the star to the vanishing string point because we're gonna make it look like the star's coming out of the paper at us. So when we use color 
And I have the final project here so you understand what we're saying. Do you see how you just use... Oh boy, I forgot this point, didn't I? I forgot the interior point. We've done these two, but do you see how there's depth here? So that's what we're doing. We're drawing these points. And then if the points on the other side went through the lightning, we're not going to draw that point. Okay, so let's go back to our project. And I can actually do this one upside down for you. See, I forgot there's a point right there that you would see. So we have to do those interior ones too. Because when things come out at you, you'd see the edges. Yep. This one is How are you easy doing? As I thought it was going to be. It's it's a much harder it's a much harder thing to do. Um, but it's practice so that if you draw something on its own, you can always think about what these lines are like to the vanishing point. And so now that we've done a few of these, let's go back and look at the train one more time in this picture, because I think it really does show the top of the train has the line. The bottom of the train has a line that you paint in and see this stripe right here. That's the bottom of the car is also going to have that line. Now we wouldn't draw a line from anything on the other side of the train because we don't see it just like we don't do the back side of the star on this paper. Right. So if you wanted to draw something going off into a distance, you have to think of these lines. So this is just an exercise in doing that. So I'm going to do the arrow now. I'll do his points. See, I got the three on the triangle. Now I'll do this arrow. Now I'm finding for myself, it's almost easier to draw from the vanishing point to the point on the paper. Yeah. And when it comes to this, I wonder if I should do that. And, and if you draw this. one that you no. think is going to overlap no. another one, and you can go ahead and draw it and see, because you can always erase it. Right. Because we're doing it in pencil. Hmm. Okay. Oh, let me do this one here. I've done most of the easy ones, but I'm leaving those ones that are on the outside edge till last because there's something we have to think about when we do those. Let's do this point. And then the lightning's final point here. I have and a feeling got... I didn't do enough points for the lightning. Well, the interior one is actually behind. If you were to look at this line, it, let me do it on this side. See how you can see that line there? Yeah. It's behind it, so you don't draw it. All right. And then on this little rainbow, we're going to draw the side and then this point. You say rainbow, but I think macaroni noodle. It can totally be a new noodle. Nice. So he's out there. Now I have this shape here. What am I going to do with him? Because he's going to go through this guy. So what we're going to do is you could draw all of the line and erase, but what I'm going to do is line it up at the dot and only draw from the point to the next shape. Do you see how I did that? I yeah. have it lined up, but I'm only drawing to this shape because it's gonna vanish behind that shape. Yeah. Same with this corner here. And the beauty of this is we're using a pencil so we can erase we and add as needed. Yeah. Anything that gets in the way can be erased. See how that's looking really three-dimensional to me right there. This is going to be fun. Now I have the square. I've got the same problem. Here's my dot. Here's my corner. I'm lined up and I'm just going to draw until I hit that line right there because that shape's in the way. Now, if you drew the whole line, you could just erase it back out. But I get kind of confused when I get too many lines. Yeah. So I am just going to draw the points. I'm going to do the arrow because that one looks like it's going to be the easiest out of the two I have left. Okay. Say where. Now you could go over these with pen yes. to make them darker before you paint if you want, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and paint. Now we want to remember from the last lesson, the thing closest is darkest and the thing distant is lighter. So what we want to do is paint our shape first. So I'm going to do some yellow on this little moon. So I'm going to make him pretty dark yellow, pretty bright there. And then while my brush is wet, I'm going to pull a little paint out into my lid and get a lot of water in it, really lighten it up. I know yellow is a little bit harder to see, but that's a lighter yellow. Let me do a different one. Let's do red. 
I'll make this triangle right here red. So I'm going to make him a pretty dark color. Now I'm going to take some of my red paint, put it out here on the tray, and add a lot of water to it so that it's a lighter color. And then I'm going to paint the areas. And I forgot to rinse my brush out, so I had a lot. So I'm just going to get it wet and do a lighter red there. And if it looks like it's too close, go back over the first one with a darker color with a little more red solid. See? So it looks like it has distance because two reasons. We've shaded it lighter and now we've added that vanishing point, that disappearing point. So that gives it some depth. I'll go ahead and do this lightning bolt. I'll just grab blue for him just to give you an idea. And then you can pick colors and paint your objects too. This is, could also be done with colored pencils or markers or crayons. crayons. Just color lighter on the interior and you've got it. So I'm just going to do light blue here. And I'm going to finish mine up. I think I'm going to do coloring crayons or color pencil. So you're just going to save it. I'm going to. I, I have, I'm seeing something, a project, a fun project to do. Yeah. yeah. So we'll let you finish this on your own, but that should give you some ideas. And here's Leah's finished picture. She used purple and green and lots of colors on yeah. hers too. So show us what you do now that you've got your lines drawn. And it's amazing how that does kind of pop out at you and become three dimensional when you draw it that way. On a flat surface too. Yeah, it's all gives about it the trick. The trick gives of the it eye. that three dimension. So thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Have Stay a great creative. Day. Yep. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye.